I've been so influenced by Banner books throughout really my whole adult life and ministry. It's hard to pick one, but one that sticks out is actually The Collected Works of John Murray. I know it's not a single book, but when I was beginning in pastoral ministry, I knew a little bit about the teaching career of John Murray. I had read some of his uh, writings on the imputation of sin, other things like that. But for some reason, I, I got a copy of this co Complete Works, and it was, it was transformational at that point in my life. And the reason why I think, in looking back, was I was just at the front end of pastoral ministry. I was a recent seminary graduate, and I was entering the pastorate for the first time, this tiny little church, almost the church planting situation. And what I realized very quickly was that when people would come to me with pastoral questions, what I really needed was to be able to uh, think systematically about the scriptures, to, to think about the whole counsel of God, to pull together uh, what God has said in his word about whatever the particular issue was. Now, they wouldn't ask me typically uh, systematic theology questions, but they would ask me questions that were important in their lives. And, and as a pastor, what I needed to do was bring the Word of God to bear on it. And so, so reading through John Murray, which I did every night, um, was an exercise in learning from someone who was doing just that, who was mining the riches of Scripture and was bringing all of that together to address a particular topic. And so it was almost as if I was receiving not just clear uh, theology, but, but pastoral training at the same time. And then, to top it off, um, of course, contained in that complete works is this uh, biography of John Murray, and I now have the standalone copy of that because I've gone back to that and reread it at various points uh, throughout my life. But, but reading that after receiving what seemed to me to be this sort of pastoral education from this gifted and experienced and godly theologian was, was incredibly helpful because his, his biography uh, was the sort of living embodiment of these theological truths that he held so so closely and and communicated so clearly. So when I look back on those first years of of pastoral ministry, number of books stand out, number of banner books stand out, but the the systematic reading again it was sort of one chapter a night, uh, one article a night of of that set is is what sticks out in my mind most vividly. Uh, from that from that period. I still go back to those books as reference books to look up specific topics, but if I take a step back, it's not really one specific topic or one specific chapter that stands out. Although again, I'll still go back and see what Murray said about a given subject. It was really the cumulative effect and, and the way he approached the scriptures and the way he approached doctrine that was so influential. In my mind, I would liken it to sitting for many years under a godly preaching ministry. Of course, there are sermons that stick out. Of course, there are sermons that God in his providence uses at particular moments in your life that you'll never forget. But really, when you sit under a preaching ministry of that length, it's the cumulative effect. It's, it's how this man approaches the Bible. It's how he uh, thinks about God. And it's those sort of overall impressions that are what I think of most when, when I think about the series, rather than uh, this specific argument which clicked in a specific way in my life.